Hello there and welcome today. We're going to talk to you about building different ice sculptures and what we're using materials today. So, and different tips and tricks as well. So, this is one we've been using pretty regularly. This is just solid bowl from Dollarama. But the, the big thing about the bowl that you want is just a very minimal circle circumference for just so you get nice rounded shape. But also it helps for like building and stacking as well because you don't want it too small but you want it just right. These solid bowls are really good. We also have been using just these plain Tupperwares. Also found these cool little bowls at the dollar store as well. And we also got all these beautiful little decorations at the dollar store as well that we made from other ones that we got there as well. But you just have to fill up your bowls with water obviously to get your ice started. But the big thing that people don't realize is you have to use hot water. You have to use hot water so that your ice is clear. If you don't, if you use cold it'll be hazy and not as um, appealing to the eye. So. But we are going to fill up our bowls and get started here. For filling these up, you only want to leave just like a little bit of a thumbnail underneath there because it will expand once it freezes. But we already filled them up, got our hot water in there, let's bring them outside and freeze them. Okay, so for the little ones, we're going to use uh, a big jug here to fill them up because it's hard to carry out the little ones. Very easy to spill. But we're going to fill up our little one here that has our stuff in it, and we're also going to fill up this uh, disc one. some noses and eyes for our ice snowmen. So this is from Dollarama. So just kind of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you want to make a nose, right? The bigger the circle, bigger the nose. So, you know, the head size, I kind of want proportional. I don't want it to be over large. So just kind of make a cone shape. You say, okay, that's good. And just cut off the excess. Like that. Throw some glue in there. And still not working. This is great, hey? Okay, there we go. We got glue. Action. Okay. I'm going to tape it because I'm not the most patient person. I don't want to stand here and hold it. So I'm just going to throw a piece of tape on there for it to dry in the cone shape. And really, you can't see a thing. I might even just leave it there. I don't know. Doesn't matter. There we go. Ta-da. One, one nose. Okay, now it's stuck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so eyes. I, from experience, prefer larger eye pieces. Kind of makes it a bit cuter. So I just fold the foam in half. That way both eyes are the same. So I'm just going to make a circle and like I say, this doesn't have to be precision work here. I kind of want to look like there's a little expression or something. So there's my eyes. So the mouth pieces, so if you want it to say, oh my goodness, it's cold and you just got a big old mouth, then just do a larger one. If you want, um, a full-on smile, for instance. I would suggest putting smaller circles because you want them about, I would say, half the size of the eyes. So next is bringing in the pieces from outside and I'll show you how to attach them. Okay. Basically, to keep it simple, you dip these in water and I find that 
touching it in a bit of snow almost acts as a bit of a freezing agent or something to the water and then press it on the ice face and it sticks pretty almost instantly. The nose is a little more tricky. Same thing rule applies though. Dip it in water, dip it in snow, stick it on and it usually sticks pretty well. Be back with more. Yep. Okay, so what I do is I just pop them out of the plastic containers. It's good to use flexible plastic. It works the best um, and doesn't pop the bottoms out of your containers. So this one really shifted a lot. I don't know if you can see how uneven that is. Quite uneven. And that just happens in the course of freezing. And the top, is, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got quite a bit of bumps here. So I'm going to run it under warm water and knock off the lumps. So there you have it. It's more or less flat now. And now I'm going to do the other one. It pops out pretty easily. Oh yeah, wear rubber gloves. It's important so your hands don't stick. So, this is quite uneven. Okay, now I'm just going to try setting the two on top of each other. And that's how you get a ball. Just stack them on top of each other. Now, sometimes when you have a nice flat surface, they almost freeze instantly together. So now it's better for a, it's already starting to stick. So I think just because of the moisture there, it'll stick, it will stick. What I usually do is I grab a little snow. I pat it down on top of my already wet. And there you have it, it's already stuck. So are there grooves? Sure. But I found that makes a great place to stick a set of lights into the crack. Okay, my hands are starting to freeze. <laughs> so, you know, take your time. It's not going to melt that fast. Don't get frostbite. Okay, sometimes they don't pop out instantly. So just run in underneath some water. And all of a sudden, bam, there you go. So I'm going to make a, a head out of this one. And look how nice and clear that is. I don't know if you can see that, but it comes out so nice and clear when you use hot water. I'll try and flatten it again. Get it all wet. Throw a little snow on top, like so, and it doesn't have to be a lot of snow, and just marry the two together, try and get it, you know, as best to match you can, particularly on the head. Give it a little push down, and it's only like seconds before that freezes together like that. So while I'm unearthing things here, or whatever that's called, unmolding, while I'm unmolding things, I'm going to make a hat out of this. This was, I think, the base to a cake plate. So I'm going to use this as part of a hat. And I kind of like grooves here, because what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see this, but... This is going to be my face. This is going to be my hat. I'm going to use this little one as part of my hat. You can put things in the water to make it fun and interesting. And uh, you can just attach it with a little snow and water. I wouldn't bother trying to level this one because it's too thin. 
So there you go. There's your hat. But I put a string of lights in here on top of the hat. Or the head, I mean. I put a string of lights on top of the head. Oh, I might pat a little snow on top when I'm outdoors. Then I set this on top. And just give it a little wiggle wiggle. And then it'll literally just kind of freeze in place with the light. It'll hold your lights there, which is kind of fun. So anyway, that's my hat. This is my face. Now, this is almost frozen solid already. But if there is, I see it's very tight seal here. So I'm going to make this the face. You just give it a little rub and boy that comes to a sheen in about a second. Just melts a little bit. And that is a nice face. But the back there might be a little crack or something. That's a good place to put in one of your light bulbs on your string of lights so you can light it up nicely at night. So I decided this is going to be my face because boy that's nice and smooth. So I'm just going to grab that nose and eyes and, and here we go. Let's make a face. So I like to get wet. Stick it in the snow a little bit. It's okay if it's on both sides, whatever. Don't matter. Don't get too worried. Just kind of maybe in the middle of one half. Put the eyes. Oops. See, the snow stuck and the eye didn't. Hold it on with your thumb. The heat will transfer through to the ice. Melt the ice on the other side and it'll stick. Like that. Let's do that again. Get a little wet. Dip it in the snow. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. And stick it on. And then just hold it. Press. Give it a little bit of pressure. Just to get it to stick. And like I say, the heat of your hand is actually melting it on the other side and freezing all at the same time. And sticks. Same with the nose. Get it wet. Stick it in the snow. Now this works out. I usually do this outdoors and I freeze myself. And boy, this works good doing it in the house. Keeps you from freezing. I know the other snowman I made. I did all this outdoors and I froze my hands and I'm just discovering this is great to do it in the house. I'm kind of enjoying it this way. So I'm just going to pack a little of this snow around the nose. And boy, that thing is not going to come off till you know, March when he melts. I'm going to just put some more snow on there. I'm getting messy. Let's fix that. Okay, he was sticking a second ago. Let's try that again. Oh, here we go. as clear as I can and there you go that nose is stuck on there pretty good well I'm really enjoying doing this craft in the house my goodness it's nice when you're not freezing I wish I did all the other snowmen this way quite nice off did it where'd it go I don't even see it okay well let's hold that on a little longer this time I don't know it just really it jumped it's gone maybe down the drain I should have a look <laughs> might be gone well that's maybe why I did outside it works a little faster outside because of the you know you're doing it outside and it's minus 20 or minus 30, boy, this sticks like almost instantly outside. I guess you take a cup of hot water outside with me, dip it in the hot water, 
dip it in the flakes of snow. My snow is starting to melt here, so now it's not quite as good as when it, I can see it's falling off and everything. When you do this outdoors, it just sticks really fast. But I have to admit, this is very comfortable. I'd rather be patient and wait in the house with my finger on it than freeze outside. Like that. So I've just kind of centered it, start with the middle one and work your way up each side. So normally if when I'm outdoors, I will pour a cup of hot water on top of here. It'll run down. It'll run into the cracks and it'll help solidify and make my snowman that much more solid. And you can see this is fairly uneven right here. You pour the hot water on. In fact, I'm just going to set up the sink. Let's give it a shot of hot water. Then you add some snow. And then it's sort of your leveling agent. Try not to get too many leaves and debris in there. And then add your head or your next layer. And that will literally seal like that. I'll pour a little water on top. And that's going to freeze on there. And it's okay if the water runs over the face, that's fine. It's just going to help make another layer of ice and make your ice man or snow ice snowman that much more solid. So I'm not going to put the head on there because I don't want the freeze on there. I'm going to take this outside. I'm going to put a string of lights here. I'm going to set this on some snow on top of that. Set my hat on. And there's our ice snowman. So that's how you assemble it. So there's no limit as to what you can do. That's just my creation, what we came up with. I enjoy putting things in the water. As this melts, um, it, it just gets more and more interesting as the days go by because what you put in there sticks out and shows all the more. So I guess now I'm going to put this guy outside. But can you see how the light is going through that? I just love that. It's a little different than the snowman just due to the clarity and it shows up so nice. Even in the daylight, without the lights on, it's quite nice. Oh, and I recommend don't let it touch your coat or mitts because it will stick. And it'll actually take a layer off your mittens. And you'll end up with fives on your ice man, just to let you know. So I wouldn't use anything that was too knit with wool. Stick with using rubber gloves to protect your hands. Okay, let's put this guy outside. I'm going to have to take them apart because, oh, it's frozen. Okay, so Jay is going to take this guy outside. Oh, second. Okay, Jay is going to carry this guy out. He weighs too much. I couldn't carry him. Here we go. So he's going to be the baby in the crowd because I didn't make a third layer. Very good. So he's the baby of the crowd. So now we need his hat. Go ahead. Okay, so now Jay's going to put his little hat on. He's going to put that little string of lights on top of some snow. Some sticking agent. There's a string of lights. Okay, I'm not too sure what I did with the lights. Oh, it's okay. I need to fix it and put it on the other snowman. So just put his hat on. There we go. Isn't he cute?